What's up guys, Keith Mitchell here from the Outer Haven Productions and I'm back with yet another video for the super duper handheld PC gaming device, the Asus ROG Ally. Now this video is for those who use a dock and want to play games on their TV or their large monitor or whatever using an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller and realize that when they hook it up, they're having a problem. Now, I also experienced this, but I also figured out what you have to do. And right now, this is an issue with firmware 317 and 319. So keep this in mind. So what's happening for me is I'm using the JS Aux, J-S-A-U-X dock, which works for my Steam Deck perfectly. But when I use it with this, I'm running into an issue. When I hook up a controller and I try to play my games, pretty much my character just sits on the screen like this. And it also happens from what I'm being told with the official ROG Ally dock as well. So what you really have to do, and it's kind of a pain in the behind, is to enable the controller, you actually have to go over to the ROG Ally and you have to disable the embedded controller. Bear with me for a moment. I may sound a little muffled as I reach over to do this. So we're opening up the command center. We're going down to the embedded controller and we're gonna disable it. All right, it is now disabled. Now that it's disabled, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my controller and I'm going to plug it back in. And look at that. I can move my character around just fine. So again, folks, if you have our Asus ROG Ally and you're on firmware BIOS 317 or 319 and you want to use a dock as well as an external controller like your Xbox controller or your PlayStation DualSense, whatever, you have to disable your controller on your ROG. But before you do this, do not plug in a controller. If you have a controller plugged in, unplug the controller, disable the one on the ROG, plug your controller back in, and it will automatically see it and start playing. And in my instance, I'm using Steam because I'm using Dark Souls 3 and it works just fine now. I did notice an issue when I did this before that sometimes it doesn't pick it right away. So if it doesn't, you might wanna unplug your controller and try again. Not sure why this keeps happening, but again, it is an issue with the current firmware. So thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out, do us a big favor, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.